The Esquiline Hill is the largest of the seven hills of ancient Rome, and it's just north of the Caelian Hill. Now, looking over the valley of the Colosseum, you have the sprawling remains of the Baths of Trajan, and they sit directly on top of the Domus Aurea, the Golden House of Nero. Further afield, you have the massive complex, the Caesorium, used by the Severan emperors and by the mother of Constantine. And just a stone's throw away from that, you have the Porta Majori, where half of the aqueducts came into ancient Rome. And from there, they're distributed throughout the rest of the hills of Rome. And one standout place still today is visible in Piazza Vittorio, and that's where you have a Castellum Aquae, or a distribution center. Now, just a stone's throw away from Piazza Vittorio, there's the Esquiline Gate or the Arch of Gallienus. And that's the kind of end point of the Servian Wall. And outside of that gate, you'd be leaving the city in Augustan Rome and in Servian Rome. When you stepped outside the gates, you had over time the development of large garden estates, a green belt around the urban center of Rome. And some of the standouts include the so-called Temple of Minerva Medica, which is actually a large vaulted triclean space for dining within a large estate in the third century AD. And over time, most of these garden estates are grown over and abandoned and neglected. In the 19th century, you have the entire area of the Esquiline Hill redeveloped and urbanized. And with those new constructions, there are new discoveries, there are new excavations. And all the rich material, in particular statuary, is on display today in the National Museums of Rome and of course, the Capitoline Museums.